Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the weekend. Today's second video, so as well as on Saturday, we've got your weekend uh, look at. This is the uh, weekend forecast, and I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just say that the first video, they say, was our uh, ECM WF42 day uh, slash six weeks look at. I'm going to change the 14 day, including all of the regular features coming to you later on this afternoon. So please like, share, subscribe on videos. Thank you so much for doing that. There was a 6 a.m. upload that should be back. Uh, tomorrow. The websites are using for weekend forecasts are coming from the weatherapp.com and wetcentral.de. You can find a link to both of those websites in the description with the video. Right, so this is the situation with the radar picture currently from the weather outlook. A little bit of patchy rain across Western Scotland. Otherwise, it is a dry day, so we won't dwell on that for too long. Uh, reason it's dry is that high pressure remains in control in the ascendancy sitting over country. This southwesterly wind is bringing in. Um, the patchy rain to Western Scotland. So a little bit of light rain for Western Scotland. Otherwise, most areas will be dry today. Will be a lot of crowd, especially the further north west you go. The best many bright sun spells will be in the south and the southeast. Temperatures not as cold or chilly as it has been over recent days, uh, with a range around 4 to 9 degrees Celsius. Overnight tonight, the high pressure continues to be dominated, however, ruling the roost. So most places will have a dry night. Again, a little bit of patchy rain. Coming into far northwest of Scotland on those southwesterly winds. Quite on cloud again tonight, particularly further north you go. The best fending clear spells will tend to be in more southern, southwestern areas. Could be some dense fog patches through parts of southeast Wales into the southwestern Midlands, perhaps. Um, but otherwise, there's going to be quite a bit of uh, low cloud and, and whatnot around tonight. So it shouldn't be as cold as it was over recent nights. Uh, temperatures generally frost free, particularly further north. And where should you go? There could be a touch of frost, though, if the sky is clear in eastern England or where we have those mist and fog patches. Temperature might go down to our minus one. Tomorrow, Sunday, high pressure again is dominating weather. Will be a weather system coming into northwest of Scotland. That will bring cloud and outbreaks of rain into the far northwest of Scotland. Otherwise, most other places will be mainly dry. And again, uh, we're going to be seeing quite a bit of cloud across the country. The best of any brighter sunny spells will tend to be in more east areas. And there could be a few dense fog patches linking all day through parts of southeast Wales, for example. Temperatures again ranging from around 4 to 9. Uh, if the fog lingers, it will be bit colder than that though. Uh, high pressure is dominating weather on Monday, so weather system will be pushing themselves into that high pressure, taking a band of rain from Scotland into Northern Ireland and Northern England, where it would kind of fizzle out, die a death. Most places again are looking at a mainly dry day, and there will once more be a lot of cloud around on uh, Monday, but we might see a little bit more in the way of bright sunny spells in the south southwest. Again, one or two fog patches could linger. Temperature parts a bit colder across England and Wales on Monday, uh, so ranging from around 3 to 6. Further north, though, it will be milder than that at around 6 to 10. Into Tuesday, very little change. High pressure continues to be roaring the roost once more. The weather system brushing into the northwest. That will bring a little bit of patchy rain into northern and western Scotland. Most of the areas, though, will be dry. Maybe a little bit more in the way of brightness with some central and eastern areas. A lot of cloud in the west and the southwest with but one or two dense fog patches lasting all day. Temperatures, again, if any fog lingers, it's only around 3 or 4 degrees. Otherwise, up to 7, 8 or 9 degrees. Now, with low pressure, actual weather system moves into northern Scotland on Wednesday. That will bring some outbreaks of more persistent rain into Scotland as the day wears on. Otherwise, the rest of the country will be mostly dry. And again, we sort of do it all over again, rinse, repeat, uh, with lots of cloud and a few brighter sunny spells coming through. Temperatures, again, not too far from average, ranging from around uh, 4 to 8 degrees once more. Uh, that weather system pushes set away into the east and southeast on Thursday. So, again, a little bit of patchy rain drifting southwards, mainly dry, dying out, though, as it gets into uh, northern England. South of that, mostly dry and fine. Uh, quite a lot of cloud, a few bright sunny spells. And to the north, it'll probably brighten up across uh, many parts of Scotland. Temperatures, again, not too far from average at around 4 to 8 degrees. You get the idea, it's not going to be the most exciting week's uh, weather coming up. Into Friday, uh, we've got high pressure in over France, which is drifting a little bit further south with that high pressure. Low pressure beginning to deepen out to the northwest. So the wind strengthens across the northern half of the country. That might sort of break up some of the cloud, but it will bring outbreaks of quite persistent rain to northern and west of Scotland. Meanwhile, meanwhile many southern areas uh, will remain dry, but probably with quite a lot of cloud, maybe some uh, patchy dense 
uh, fog. Temperatures again uh, will be a little bit milder on Friday as we push in this southwesterly. So many central northern areas are going to be into double digits around 10, 11, or 12 degrees. A little bit cooler maybe in the south. Is some of that fog is lingering. And then on through next weekend, uh, essentially same old story for Saturday, most dry in the south, some wet weather in the north. And then on Sunday, maybe a band of more heavy and persistent rain pushing southeast was followed by brighter, but also somewhat colder air from the uh, northwest. Uh, just running through the charts and weather outlook. So again, this is going to show lots of sunshine. It doesn't fit the low cloud, but we've got the best sunshine day will be in eastern areas with a cloud in the north and west. Same is true for tomorrow, really. And into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. You get the idea that there's very little change through the week ahead. Just some showers here and there, more particularly in northern areas, but a lot of dry weather. The emphasis is on a lot of dry weather. And temperatures, again, are going to be pretty close to uh, long-term averages. Sometimes quite cold in the south, especially for more um, uh, for more southern areas early on in the week. I and mean, I think it generally gets milder, so southwest winds pick up later on in the week. Right, so in summary, we're looking at another amazing dry week. Lots of cloud to come. The coolest weather will be in the south. The mildest weather will be in the north. And then we all turn uh, milder by the end of the week and into next weekend. We'll be back later on with your 10 to 14 day. That's going to include all our breaking features. So come back for that then. But for weekend broadcast, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.